This is Spencer with The MacGuffin, and I'm joined by PJ Souls, who you probably know from so many films, it's really hard to know where to begin, but um, I want to start at the beginning. You sort of gained uh, a lot of people's attention from your role as Norma in Carrie. Um, what was the experience like doing that, and how did that you know, impact your career? Well, it started my career, first of all, that little red baseball hat. I mean, thank goodness that Brian De Palma said, bring it you know, to the audition when we had the second callback, and also to you know to the uh, the first day of shooting and I couldn't believe that every time I came on set he's like where's your hat so he made me wear it throughout the whole even at the prom which I was like what so but once you were in Carrie all of us girls then it was very easy for our agents to you know get us into another audition and say well she was just in Carrie oh okay I'll see her so it really started my career so were you a horror fan before you got into that were you like you know a Stephen King fan all this sort of stuff or was it just sort of like I, just I'll take whatever audition I can get at this oh, point. yeah, absolutely. When you're in your 20s, you just go up for everything. I mean, I did a lot of television. You know, you don't, you just want to get film on you so you can get to the next part. So, and luckily that also helped me get Halloween because John yeah, Carpenter has said that he saw me in Carrie. Well, that's what I was going to say. You were so. Linda in Halloween, and that was right. just a little low budget indie film when that started, but it right. became one of the highest grossing indie films, if not the yeah. highest of all time. What was that like? That must have been sort of a, a very interesting experience because it was so small when you're working on it. Yeah, I mean, really, it was a 21-day shoot, and John wow. Carpenter was just this kid, you know. Basically, he and Deborah Hill were just bouncing around, and to, to us, it was just fun. It was Jamie Lee's first movie. She was only 19. You know, I, I knew who Tony Curtis and Janet Lee were, but, you know, it wasn't like any big deal because right. she was sort of a geeky kind of a girl. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you got the lead and she always liked my part and we really should have switched because I was really more like Lori uh. and she was really more like Linda in real life but um, it, it was fun you know obviously you're you're starting out and you're with these people that are very creative and the, the beauty of that set was that that John and Deborah both welcomed you know our creative input and that's what I like wow. the most about it because I love improv I like sort of being on the spot yeah. and so that was fun for me but no when you're working on it you just never think oh you know 20 years from now people are going to be talking about Halloween. You never would think of the longevity of that film. I mean, how do you look back at it now, you know, looking at, you know, it becoming a slasher inspiration, <laughs> like a giant franchise of films? Do you look back and like, yeah, I was in the first one of that, you know? Well, I mean, it's always an honor when people tell me that the original is the best and none mm -hmm. of the ones that came after that and since then and all the other movies that have ever been made, you know, come close to it. I, I recognize that, you know, it was a first of a kind, but it was a very special set of circumstances and mainly the reason is John Carpenter. I mean, he wrote, he directed, he did the music, he performed the music. I mean, he just was really brilliant all around. And so it was his his work of art. It was, you know, his his own creation in all those different areas. Mm -hmm. I mean, he edited it too. I mean, so, you know, along with his editor, of course, but it was it was it's very rare that a filmmaker gets his hand in everything, yeah. including the music. Come yeah, on. yeah, Let's such an it. iconic score you know? too. Yeah. So, Oh yeah, I mean, the, he came up with that that sound that we all know. Instantly, and recognize. Yeah, instantly. So just that alone would have been enough to have carried him alone, but that along, but then a, a movie goes with it. So. Um, so you are also in Stripes. I mean, you're not just a horror actress. I mean, <laughs> no, you are no. Stella in Stripes. What was it like working with all those amazing comedians in that film? Well, Harold Ramis is brilliant. Bill Murray is unbelievable. I mean, talk about improv. That whole kitchen scene with the spatula, that was just, you know, him opening up the refrigerator and taking out a carrot. And I said, what are you going to do with that? And mm. Ivan's like, get the camera over here. Yeah. Stop. And that was completely improv at 3 in the morning. And it was just totally fun. You know, what can I say? It's, uh, you know, when you're working with guys like that, you know you're going to get good stuff. Now, that movie, you could read the script and go, okay, this is a really funny movie. If this doesn't do well, then yeah. we're doing something wrong if we can't make this work. Did you learn... <laughs> a lot about comedic acting just being around all those guys no <laughs> well, I, I learned <laughs> I learned that most comedians aren't happy because <laughs> Bill Murray was kind of moody yeah so that was kind of disappointing to find out but still a fun you know fun guy 
Uh, you've got all these classic roles on your resume. What, what's next for you? Where can we see you next? And is there a place, like a website or something, that people can find out where you're going to be? I do have a website, you know, but it doesn't really give you much information. I'm not one for selling T-shirts mm. or pictures or things like that. But um, I do, you know, I do small little films here and there. When people ask me, I'm doing a, a, sh a short called The Show with a friend of mine that was a fan that I met in Chicago, Matt Russell. And uh, I write country lyrics with my boyfriend. I... I'm wow. trying to work on my autobiography, and I'm going to call it The Totally Girl. <laughs> and I'm going to explain everything, all the stories that I've kept in my little pocket. <laughs> Not all of them, but some of them. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, You're PJ. Welcome. And we look forward to seeing what's next okay. for you. <laughs> can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's like, don't even try to buy the same style. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me, because I've got space game and it feels alright.